but make it, let us make it be about our kids. Kia ora. Dr. Pamji Palmer. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. It's a real um, privilege to get a slot in today's general debate because we are celebrating 125th um, uh, suffrage anniversary today, and I want to dedicate my slot to uh, this celebration. I'm really proud to stand here and celebrate this day with you all. Congratulations. It's a real privilege and honor also to be the first Indian-born woman member of parliament in our parliament. Mr. Speaker, I am really proud of both countries that I belong to, my birth country and my home country. As I said, I'm Indian born. I am really grateful to be born in the generation that I am, because I know that women, those who were born before me, they worked really hard in both countries. Here in New Zealand, yes, our suffragists, led by Kate Shepard, I want to acknowledge them. And I want to thank them for all the hard work they did and opened doors for us. And back home in India, those days, Mr. Speaker, I'm talking about my grandparents' generation. Villages used to be typical villages. Some villages didn't have schools. And girls were not sent to another village or town or city to access education. So it was only men, those who got access to education. So obviously, that gender gap increased. I also come from the country where some, I say some, families desire male children over female children. Mr. Speaker, some families, Madam Speaker, now I just see the change. Um, yes, so, um, some families will go to any extent to make sure that their child is a male child. And this is despite all the efforts by the government of India. And I want to acknowledge the government of India for the hard work that they are doing in this space. Madam Chair, when I was growing up, I didn't know that I will find myself in this beautiful country that is the first self-governing country to give women the right to vote. I didn't know that I'll be standing here in this house and celebrate, I'll have the opportunity to celebrate 125th suffrage anniversary with you all. But I knew that my upbringing was the best. I knew that my parents looked after me and my sisters without any prejudice, despite all the surroundings that I have talked about. And Madam Chair, um, I want to mention that I'm not the only girl child. We have four sisters. So I want to thank my parents for the efforts that they have put in us. They provided us everything that we needed to achieve to do well in our life. So there is a role for every one of us, and that is to provide opportunities to younger generations, younger girls. And that is how I see this example. Madam Chair, we have so much to celebrate in our country. We are continuously advocating for women's rights. We are fighting for our rights. Yesterday, while we are celebrating 125th suffrage anniversary, we should also acknowledge and celebrate that we know what we want to achieve. Yes, the list is long, and I want to add more things to that list, and that is the intersectional feminism. When people talk about feminism, we just bring one dimension to that, but I think we need to bring more dimension to feminism. And that is people, those who are migrant like me, people, those who come from ethnic minorities. Having said that, I'm here not because of my ethnicity. I'm here not because of my gender. I'm here because of my hard work. And I'm really proud to be part of the National Party that believes in hard work and rewards people for hard work. We are the first country to give women the right to vote. And yes, it is a wish to be at the forefront for the social change that is right for our country, that is best for our country. And it's a great privilege to be part of this continuous momentum for inclusion. Thank you, Madam Chair. I call Deborah Russell. Madam Chair, thank you. Speaker. I, Madam Speaker, uh, Madam Speaker, I wish to speak.